side lengths and angle measures in similar figures. We're going to take our understanding of similarity and use that to be able to find a missing measurement, whether that's an angle or a side measurement. So let's start with this shape, these two shapes here, these two triangles that are similar to each other. What we're looking for is the side length UV. Some of you can already look at this and quickly tell what that value is. Now let's come up with a strategy to figure that out. Here, UVW, triangle UVW is similar to triangle SRQ. Since we are looking to find UV, we have to compare that to SR. UV corresponds to SR. Now notice here, this is a two, this is also two. That means if SQ, which is two, is proportional with UW when relating these two triangles, then that means if this is a two as well, this must also be 10 as this is 10. So the one corresponds to this five, the two relates to the two, the 10 rather, and this two would relate to the missing 10. So with that one, we're just using a comparison of values that are already given to us. We will come up with some strategies though to figure those out when they're not so intuitive. Let's take a look at these two triangles. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle EGF. What is the measure of angle C? We are missing angle C. Well, first of all, we need to figure out what does angle C correspond to? Angle C is related to which angle? It is similar to this one here, F. That means the angle measurements are the exact same measurement. Angle C has to measure whatever angle F measures. And because angle F happens to measure 41 degrees, angle C is also 41 degrees. So the angle measurements are the same when we have two similar figures. However, their side measurements are proportional to each other. When you, when you relate the corresponding parts. Now, triangle W, or rather VWX, here we have VWX, is similar to triangle CAB. That is CAB. Find AB. If we are looking for AB here, now we have to come up with the comparison uh, ratio here. So now, in this case, 11, or actually I'll use the, yes, 11 corresponds to 22, so I'll actually write it out. 11 corresponds to that 22, so 11 is to 22 as, in this case, 11 is to the side we're looking for, AB. This is our, our what, our variable, what we're looking for. So because that's 11, that's 11, and this is 22, this must also be 22. So there's really not much math to do in this case. Okay, now this one will require a little bit of math. So let's take a look at these two triangles. We have triangle HIJ is similar to triangle BCD. Here I'm going to create a proportion using the measurements given. When we are trying to find BC, this is BC here. So this side, 2, corresponds to our missing part, which is BC, we're trying to figure out BC. You know, we typically use one variable, but in this case, we will just use both variables that describe that side measurement. And then one relates to this nine. So this is equal to one to nine. So if one to nine is the same as two to BC, some of you, again, you can already quickly tell what that value has to be. You can recall your, your rules or the trick to figuring out the missing value of a proportion, multiply two by nine, that is 18, divide by this third number, which is a one. So 18 divided by one, that leaves us with BC is equal to 18. Therefore, the missing measurement BC has to equal 18. So the most important thing here is to figure out which side corresponds or relates to the other in the shapes you were given. Okay, again, when it comes to the angle measurements, you're simply looking for the same angle measurement. Let's look here. What are the measure, what is the measure, what are the measures of angles 
C and the measure of angle R. So angle C, let's start with that one. Angle C. C, notice I'm looking up here before I even look at the shapes. This is a much faster way. Rather than trying to flip and rotate these shapes in your head to match them up, C is the third letter, therefore it corresponds with this V, which is the third letter. So C is the same as V. And if V is 80, then C has to be 80 degrees as well. Now, we're looking for R as well. R is the fourth letter in this shape here. Therefore, we look at the fourth letter here, which is D. Therefore, D being 128 degrees is the same as R. So for R, we are typing 128 degrees. Just find those corresponding parts. Okay. These are similar. We're going to skip forward, try to find a problem that is a little more challenging. Okay, this problem's a little more challenging in that you have to find two measurements, not just one for the same problem. So now, let's create this proportion here. We're looking for WY, so WY, which is right down here. So this side corresponds with this one. So WY, which is, WY relates to two as, and let's take two sides we already know. If we tried using the 15, we would have to know what BD is, but we don't. So now we're going to use these other two measurements because XW relates to BD. See here, XW relates to um, BC rather, so BC. So 20 to four, and I'm going from left to right. So because I went from left to right with this one, I must go from left to right with this one. So that is 20 over four. Again, once you have the correct setup, many of you have already um, got through the lesson where you figure out the missing value. Just cross, multiply here, two times 20, that is 40, divide by this third value, that's the fast way of solving this, and that would leave you with WY is 10. So this side measures 10. Okay, now we're trying to find BD. So to find BD, let's see, before I start writing, let me see what we are comparing. Okay, I'll start from left to right again. 15 is to BD. So 15 is to BD as we'll use the ones that are given. You might be tempted to use a value you just found, but just in case we made a mistake, let's always stick with what is already given. So 20 to four. So we're going to cross multiply here, 15 times four, 60. Divided by 20, that is three. Therefore, BD has a measure of three. Okay, so the only thing that gets tricky as you keep moving through these problems, you notice is that you're asked for more measurements. So just make sure you are extra careful in your calculations so that you get all your measurements correct and you don't end up having to redo extra problems because one measurement is off. All right, be sure, be sure to email me if you have any questions.